Big I'm cute. She wanna have sex. Can't tune in to live TV. We live off the real. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you knew we going crazy. Go to the Supreme KD2. We knocking out live reaction videos and go to KD2 Live. We streaming over there, a little streamer world type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't even got nothing to do with this type of content. The little cartoon world shit. You know what I'm saying? We turning up over there on our channel. Make sure you tune in. At 300K, I'm doing a giveaway, $3,000. We got NBA Youngboy Most Disrespectful Moments. Make sure y'all comment what y'all want to see next. We probably got hella videos on the nigga YB, bro. That's how y'all need to be requesting. If you want to see something else, make sure you comment down in the comment sections. I'm knocking it out, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? We going crazy. We finna knock the video out. I ain't even finna do too much talking, my nigga. We on the grind. Y'all see that. You know what's going on. But let's see. We know that nigga Youngboy got some disrespectful ass moments. I ain't even gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? That nigga whole, that nigga whole career disrespectful moment. Let's do it, y'all boys on this man. Let's get him in. That nigga whole career disrespectful moment. Sliding on rappers' blocks to attacking the fan. These are NBA Young Boy's most disrespectful moments. Shit low? Starting with the oh, time go. NBA Young Boy got completely disrespectful with his mom. Because in 2018, he went live on Instagram with DJ Academics and told Academics how he never had a mama or a dad in his life. And look where I came from. I ain't never had no daddy. And I ain't never had no mama. And my mama living. Not long after the live, another live surfaced on the internet of young boy throwing his mom out of the house he bought for her since he didn't want her going live on Instagram. Yeah, I don't know. Hello. Young boy, fam. Boy, your ass come from a different background, ain't it? That's crazy. That nigga say you can't hear? To your ma OG, boy. Boy, my be shot your ass. I ain't gonna lie, that's crazy. The internet of young boy throwing his mom out of the house he bought for her since he didn't want her going what? live on Instagram. That nigga did. Okay. Yeah, I Hello. Get off this. Why you After this, young boy's mom came out and made a video letting everyone know she. This nigga, young boy, boy. Boy, your head different, boy. What the fuck? Nah, boy, your head moving like that. God he was not going damn. to let her son control her life just because he has money. If I don't do what Kentrell say, he won't do it. You know, he, he ain't gonna do it for you. And I ain't finna be robotic. I'm a grown motherfucking woman. I didn't have you. You didn't make me. You. Young boy got disrespectful with a fan too at one of the shows. Did she just say I didn't have you? Control say he won't do it. You know he, he ain't gonna do it for you. And I ain't finna be robotic. I'm a grown motherfucking woman. I didn't have you. You didn't make me. I made you. Young boy got disrespectful with a fan around. too at one of the shows in South Carolina because the video of the <laughs> show shows Young boy performing the song War with Us with fans surrounding him and in the middle of the performance a fan jumps up to touch Young boy so Young boy who just who just jerked on the nigga like that boy ah oh, shit at first I about to say he be hitting niggas for no reason hey the Young boy I fuck around hit the little nigga in the front that ain't even doing shit he and that be like this Young boy swinging hit it the damn little bro he just singing the damn song but. The way y'all jerking with on the nigga, fans hello. surrounding him and in the middle of the performance. Who the fuck? Who hit it at? Okay, look. Is that a bill? A fan. Look, that. Maybe. Shit, I don't know. Now that you got check, bro. And jumps up to touch young boy. So young boy took the chain off and either the same fan or someone else tried to snatch the chain out of his hand. Without hesitating for a second, young boy rocks the dude in the face. And after a few seconds, young boy is back to performing. He starts holding the chain up in front of the crowd, daring anyone to reach for it. But during a different show, young boy lent a piece to his own boy and wasn't so lucky. After a performance in Greensboro, North Carolina, young boy stopped the show to announce that he was mad since someone stole a chain from his partner. You see that chain? Hey, you see that chain you just took out my partner, Nick? Hey, that chain you just took out my partner, Nick, that ain't his chain. That's my chain. I ain't really tripping off that I got too much money. Man, I'll shoot this bitch up safe. He's clearly pissed and even threatens to hit a female. That boy said, I'll shoot this bitch up. Now, had 300 niggas in the crowd that don't. I, fam, I'm at Fam, I'm back here. I don't even know where the fuck your chain at, bro. I ain't know you had one on, my nigga. He, he say he finna, what he say? He say he finna shoot that bitch up. Y'all ready? Nah, come on. I, I don't know if he finna do another song or what, but shit. I ain't trying to stay here to see my nigga say he finna, you know what I'm saying? I guess somebody took your chain, bro. That's what I guess happened. I don't know. You feel me? Bell fan who had gotten on the stage after he stopped performing. Hey, get the f back. I don't know you get the f back. 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 Get the
No one was stupid enough to to open the lid. This nigga be on that shit. He be on anything, fool. God damn, he about not shot it. He about not precious off the stage. And even threatens to hit a female fan who had gotten on the stage after he stopped performing. Hey, get the back on there. Get the back. Get the back. No one was stupid enough to openly admit that they stole the chain in a room full of crazy fans and his entourage. But TMZ later reported that the guy who stole the chain wanted a $20,000 ransom for it to be returned. And since young boy's partner was lacking and let the chain get snatched off his neck, young boy went on Instagram the next day, humiliating his friend since he let that happen to him. You ain't snatched off my neck. You snatched it off his neck. Look at the camera with your scam. Let this snatch my chain off your neck. That isn't the only friend of his that he straight up disrespected because young boy got very disrespectful with his homie no cap because in late 2022 a fan hopped on that ain't his homie bro y'all nigga gotta understand the music gang see some of y'all niggas just be outsiders and never did this shit nigga that's not that nigga homie bro i'm gonna keep it a honey because you ain't gonna do your homeboy the way i already seen this you ain't gonna do your homeboy like that this is that nigga artist bro and just because he came out and said this don't mean every other nigga in they rap game don't feel like that about they rap, they rap niggas, they artists. Y'all niggas just they little hoes making them some money, you just that little nigga bitch. Don't matter if you best friends. Y'all could be at the dinner together like this and he put another chain on your goofy ass for your birthday and buy you a Lambo the same, with the same money you just made him. Nigga, that's your Lambo, dumbass. Your music paid for it. Fuck, he bought me a Lambo and I'm signed, nigga, that's your money. You nigga, this, he just the first one to come out and tell a nigga, keep working for me. You, you, you know what I'm saying? I don't know Cap. Now, Cap got cool music, but I'm just letting y'all know this situation, that's not his friend, bro. And none of these niggas that signed to niggas, they're not their friends, nigga. They work y'all workers. That's why I, I, me, my advice to you niggas is don't be no rapper. Go be a fucking boss. On Twitter and told No Cap, drop some new with Top. And since No Cap is still trying to blow up, he responded, let me go up on my own first, cause I don't need everybody saying I use Top to get big. We will do music later. But for some reason, that tweet set Young Boy off and made him get very disrespectful with No Cap. Young Boy hopped on IG and told No Cap, you a, but I call a real rapper. We don't do music, cause I don't with you. He would get even more disrespectful saying, what did he say? He said, what I call a real rapper? No Cap, you a, but I call. He said, I pay attention, you a, but nigga, what I call a real rapper, we don't do music because I don't fuck with you. Stop speaking on me to these people because my daddy, you my daddy artist, you a worker. Call a real rapper, we don't do music because <clears throat> I don't with you. He would get even more disrespectful saying, you're a worker, you ain't my brother, you pay me. And No Cap was shocked by the reaction. So he responded with a post explaining how he held it down for Young Boy for three years while he picks fights with everyone in the industry. Plus, Young Boy supposedly wanted No Cap to pay him for a feature. Fans were shocked since Young Boy was charging his own artist for a feature. Man, what the fuck? I ain't paying no nigga for no feature. I'm gonna fuck who it is. I'm gonna keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? That's why the music industry so it's different, bro. I rock with Young Boy, but what y'all gotta understand is that nigga young boy, like he he got it, bro, like all of us, bro. We our own person. Like we got our own, you know what I'm saying? Like way of living, our own way of thinking, our own demeanor, our own vibe about, about ourselves. To some people, the way the shit you do may seem weird. To some sh the people, this nigga, the stuff he do may seem weird, bro. I just seen Raw Wave on stage fall off a goddamn building onto some b b air balloons about this sad and depressed music. I rock with Raw Wave, but why are you inciting motherfuckers to commit suicide with? I just said this other day, nigga said he don't make sad music, he makes struggle music. So why the fuck is he falling off a building? He trying to incite, he trying to make it seem like he's struggling to hold on to the building? He making sad ass music. I fuck with Raw Wave, but that shit right there, that wasn't cool, bro. That that depressing shit wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? But and Rod in his head, he probably like, you know, this fit my situation, this is how I feel. Some of us may look at it weird. You know what I'm saying? But he's just being him. Is what I'm trying to get y'all to understand. XX Tentacion, shaving off his eyebrows and shit. Some people are like, what the fuck? But he's just being him, bro. You know what I'm saying? Card Playboy Cardi coming on these bit masked up, taking two million from Aiden Ross. That shit, I ain't nigga never did that shit to me. But he's just being him. It's weird to some people. They're just being them goddamn selves. You know that little nigga used to run down your, your highway at school like this? Fast as hell. He was just being him. Young boy, that nigga just being him. Now, some of us may find it weird. Because if me, if I sign a nigga, I'm going to be a real nigga. You're going to get this, this shit for free. 
the feature for free because you my artist, nigga. You finna make me more money. You know what I'm saying? But you don't know what they got going on behind the scenes. Ain't no telling. I don't know their situation. I don't know why young boy want to charge him, but he's just being him. Since day one, this nigga came, young boy came in, he'd be doing what he wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, that shit sound crazy to charge your artist. The industry. Bless. Young boy's That like Gucci charging Shiesty for a feature. You feel me? That ain't, you can't do that, bro. You gotta keep it Supposedly real, wanted bro. no cap to pay him for a feature. Fans were shocked since Youngboy was charging his own artist for a feature. After no cap's response, Youngboy sent more disrespectful shots, calling him broke and all. Saying, I'm holding over here. You ain't even got 300K for your tax bill, clown. Just protect yourself. Young boy also said to No Cap, you ran with me because I was popping at the moment. Hit the fan, you couldn't even take a picture with Quando. No ah, Cap you see what I'm saying? He be shit in the background, brother. Child don't be knowing that people don't be knowing. That's why you should gotta look at it on the outside looking in and be like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's crazy, but go about your business. Cause some of y'all didn't, y'all probably thought Cap was right. He felt like Cap was just with him until everything got to going crazy in the whole, cause that nigga young boy got the whole industry against him. And then you wasn't on my side. It be like that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how I felt. I was rapping. Niggas start doing shit. I sign. I, I, I do a little partnership with Yo Gotti and them. Everybody on the, the whole world on it. They literally, okay, who's? I get up there and see the industry ain't what I thought it was. And I'm a, I'm a fucking boss. So I'm like, I'm good on it. I had to beg them niggas for two years to let me slide. I'm like, bro, just let me leave, bro. I don't even want to do this shit. I'm trying to go do my own thing. Two years straight, they ain't want to let me leave. Everybody disappeared. Popped out with that money on niggas trying to get back. Fuck you, nigga. I feel it. I feel it. That's why I say, oh, I understand that. I would charge niggas. Cap ain't even shit. respond, but young boy that point, wasn't finished yet. Because a while ago, people thought No Cap was dissing Lil Dirk. But No Cap popped online to squash the rumors. He said, me and Dirk might not conversate, but I don't speak on his name. He don't speak on mine. Youngboy would throw the situation up in No Cap's face and said it shouldn't even matter if people thought he was dissing an op. Then he called No Cap, uh. No Cap would defend himself about not being broke and told Youngboy to get his dog a lawyer then since he's so rich. And no one knows why Youngboy got that disrespectful with No Cap. But some fans think it's all over No Cap not hopping in Youngboy's beef with Lil Durk. Fans were also confused when Youngboy was disrespectful to Moneybag. Yo. It be like that though, bro. You can't, come on, man. Y'all gotta be reasonable, dog. Like, for example, I just told you about Gotti them, bro. Y'all know Gotti them got beef with PRE, right? Dolphin them, Dolphin them got beef with, with CMG. You know what I'm saying? PRE them showed me love. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he's, he's DJ and some old shit. I, I forgot bro name, but DJ Rocksteady, something like that. Them niggas showed me love. You know what I'm saying? And, and me personally, if I, because I'm cool with CMG, I'm cool with y'all got no, I don't got no beef, no disrespect. It's just like, like I said, I got up there and I thought that it could have been fucking Atlantic that signed that did a partnership with me, whatever. When I got up there and seen that rap niggas not running the show like I thought, I'm thinking these niggas, they own boss. When I seen niggas got to run around and do shows and get a label all their money, they don't own their rights. I just wouldn't for it, bro. It's just not me. It could have been anybody. So I still fuck with y'all got it because he did some real shit. That nigga showed me love before anybody in my city did. You know what I'm saying? I rock with him. But at the end of the day, I'm not getting in they beef. That's Memphis business. I'm from Houston. I don't got nothing to do with that, bro. Nothing. I'm coming over here as an artist, not a damn, not a soldier, my nigga. I didn't ask for a helmet. I came to couldn't be get my money, go by my business. I'm a player. I'm not claiming to be you niggas and getting a fucking go to war with that. And I know. I'm coming to get my money and move. Simple, I'm not hopping in your beef, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you got to respect that. Cap ain't never said he want to get out there beefing this shit. You know what I'm saying? YB got to understand it, but YB probably looking at this shit like if you around me, you on that type of time. If not, you a weak link. So it's, you got to think about it, bro. Everybody got their different way of thinking. You know what I'm saying? Because if nigga come around me and he ain't on war, I might look at him like he a weak link. We don't know what type of time and he probably want to be friends with them niggas. So he don't want to... You know what I'm saying? So everybody got their own way of looking at shit. That's probably how he looked. Yo, in 2017. Because Young Boy and Moneybag Yo were known to be cool with each other, especially since they dropped the collaboration mixtape together. But moments later, after the tape dropped, Young Boy went to Instagram talking disrespectful about the tape and Moneybag. Man, that tape. And I won't smoke. I ain't playing. On my son. Call y'all too. And I'm 
And no one knows the reason behind that post, but things were pretty serious because Youngboy's crew allegedly got into an altercation with Moneybag's crew when they saw each other in the mall. And that mall incident wasn't anything compared to what Youngboy did to one of his DJs. Because in 2018, Youngboy and Quando were at a show in Florence, South Carolina, and the show ended up getting canceled, so everyone was chilling backstage. But out of nowhere, Quando and Youngboy randomly started to jump the DJ, and they did him very bad. The DJ couldn't do much, and other members of his team tried to hold Youngboy back during this incident. A few months later, news came out that the DJ was suing Youngboy and Quando. In court papers, the DJ also revealed that the show was canceled since Youngboy got into a fight with someone in the crowd. So everyone on the stage at the time left to go backstage. That's when Quando told the DJ to go back to the stage. That's when Quando and Youngboy started attacking him. Ah, so it seemed like the show got canceled. Everybody started leaving, but Quando was telling them like, nah, bro, go back to the stage. We're still finna rock out. But the, the DJ was leaving like, like, nah, bro, they say he's canceled. And they jumped. Is that what y'all getting to? Y'all let me For know. For no reason. The DJ said he was left with a broken tooth and many more serious injuries. But that wasn't the only DJ that Youngboy got disrespectful with. Also, subscribe right quick. But back to the point. That was DJ say right Flip quick. was on an interview with No Jumper and explained how Youngboy got disrespectful and kicked him out of his own studio. Wait, wait, hold on. Why did he kick you out the studio? Bro, he was, I don't know what he was on that day. I f with him heavy, though. So Boosie's like, yo, Flip, I need a studio. Boom, boom. Pulled up, got the studio ready for him. And then young boy pulled up and then he wanted to record and he just like, he just like looking mad. He was on, he's cuddling on the couch and with his girl. And then mm -hmm. he's about to record and he's like, exit. He looked at me and said, exit. And I guess that isn't that bad compared to what happened next. Because it's one thing. That nigga YB be tripping. But I just seen in the last video, nigga tell me. Cause y'all know I got OG YB reactions on my channel, right? Go back a long way. I done showed a nigga YB love when everybody was hating on the nigga. When a nigga was in Walmart and showed love to them fans years ago and nobody posted it, I was the only nigga that posted it. You know what I'm saying? Long, long time ago. But anyway, that's how it should be. I reacting to a, a YB song, nigga just comment, stop hating. I said, what the fuck? I hated it. I'm thinking in my head, I ain't even go back to watch the video because I know I ain't hating. I ain't no hating that nigga. I fuck with, I fuck with, bro. You know what I'm saying? But just cause I'm not like your little pink panty wearing ass with flowers all over your booty all day sitting in the room kicked up with your legs wanting to be YB and shit just cause I'm not you my nigga that don't mean I'm hate. I'm a real nigga a grown ass man fool. So if homie drop a song and I feel like I like the harmony shit better that ain't hate you tooty fruity little ass boy. It's not hate. Just like right now I'm not hate. Just like right now I'm reacting to the video saying like damn that crazy. Cause just imagine if I told you right now exit. Exit. What you gonna say? That's crazy, bro. You gonna say that nigga YB be tripping for what? I ain't gonna like exit. What the fuck you talking about? That be right there, bro. Thing to diss a rapper and another to diss their wife. Because in 2022, when Young Boy and Dirk were going back and forth with the diss. I ain't gonna lie, bro. When he beefing, it ain't no limits. What the fuck you mean? And it's another thing to diss their wife. Nigga, the whole world getting dissed. I don't give a fuck who you is. Nigga, I ain't got no. What you think is a limit? You think I'm supposed to show some remorse? Nigga, they don't give a fuck about me. I'm dissing everybody. Tracks. Young boy decided to spice Except things up a notch though, and disrespect Lil Durk's wife as well. Because in the song, I Hate Young Boy, he says, he called me a that's India. That'd be yo. Basically, calling Dirk's wife a but that wasn't the only time he disrespected her. Because earlier this year, after Lil Durk and India split up, a video of India dancing surfaced on social media. So not long after Young Boy saw the video, he tweeted trolling Dirk in India, saying, LOL. I know how it be when that turned to a demon. India would go on to reply to young boy saying, don't speak on me. I let you slide the first time. She continued saying, that's still my baby dad. I don't play about him. And young boy wasn't taking her seriously and tweeted, I know one thing, you ain't gonna mother playing with me. Basically, let her know that it can still get ugly even though she's a girl. India would tweet more about Youngboy since he made her mad and call him Denthead. And after calling him Denthead, Youngboy posted a snippet of a song trolling India. Yeah. On May 8th, Youngboy would also go on to diss India again when he announced his album. Because in the tweet, he disrespects her by saying, Lil Dirk, you a and yo nasty. And it's shown. And this time, India decided not to entertain the situation since she knows how disrespectful Youngboy can get. But that's nothing compared to what Youngboy did to Jay the Youngin. Jay was a huge fan and always spoke well on Youngboy. In 2018, Jay even told DJ Vlad, I'm, I'm a fan of Youngboy music. He's dope. Yeah. Yeah, we gonna have, we gonna we gonna collaborate pretty soon and just 
and put on for our state. And Jay thought him and Youngboy were cool with each other because one day Jay posted a snippet of a song he had with Youngboy on his Instagram. But YB wasn't rocking with it and commented, delete that. Jay deleted the post. Man, what's wrong with this nigga, bro? YB fool, what be going on with you, bro? Man, let me find that nigga YB, bro. Like, you anti-social, gang, so that's what it is. I ain't gonna lie, he anti-social, but he got it worse. Because I'm anti-social as hell, bro. I don't socialize with niggas at all. Like, I don't talk to niggas, bro. I don't got no friends. No friends. I don't got nobody. If I wanted to go hoop right now, and somebody said, bro, they run two on two, I don't got no niggas to call. And that's the only thing I love. I don't have no friends. So I feel you, fool. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't fuck with niggas. It ain't that because I'm lame and nobody relate to me. I just don't fuck with niggas. But you got it a little worse. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas be cool. Niggas will reach out to this nigga like on some cool shit. That man just don't, he just be like, boy, what you got going on, bro? Because I ain't gonna lie, I ain't know it was like that. I ain't know he said he was a fan and he actually tried to work with him. I remember this screenshot. Like, I remember he posted a snippet and he said, delete it. I think he was talking to somebody faking his crew. Like, somebody was acting like they was young boy people. I remember that, but this nigga young boy be like, Homie just be mad. One day, Jay posted a snippet of a song man. he had with Youngboy on his Instagram. But YB wasn't rocking with it and commented, delete that. Jay deleted the post. And a couple weeks later, he went live explaining how he doesn't care about the song. And he isn't going to let anyone disrespect him. I'm a real and I stand on everything, you hear me? Ain't no gonna play with me. Ain't no gonna disrespect me and just feel like that slide. No. <clears throat> I really like that. Then in 2020, Jay dropped the song 38K and exposed the situation. Because in the song, he said, you put that comment on my post. They laughed about that. But I was laughing when your baby mama got all on my. So I'm saying it always be some in the background. Now y'all let me know the timeline. Because y'all know some of these, some of these little niggas, y'all be knowing all this shit. You know what I'm saying? He spit the gadget type shit. Did. Y'all not going to know that though, bro. Like, did y'all think why be commenting? Delete that because he know he already talked to his his ex female, or he told him to delete it before that, and then homie went talking to his ex female. Y'all let me know, bro. Cause if you was talking to my ex and then you trying to come play buddy buddy with me, fool, I would have told your ass to delete it too. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to seem like I'm backtracking, but every time this nigga YB do some some weird shit, it seems like a few minutes later they come back with a reason on why he did it and it's valid. Like it makes sense. Like, oh, okay, that's why he said that. Oh, okay, that's why he tried to charge the nigga. Oh, okay, that's why he told you to delete it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know, bro. Because in my opinion, that's some sucker shit, bro. Like, don't, don't do that, bro. Don't try to come be my friend after you did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't know, man. Because these niggas seem like they coming out cool. I feel like J.D. Young was cool with you can't talk to no nigga female and then expect to be friends, bro. It don't go like that, bro. In my world. Maybe P. Diddy them. You know what I'm saying? P. Diddy being cool with his son and they dating the same girl, that shit. Me? Nah, bro. We can't date and no female like that. After to love. this, young boy and his crew slid on Jay and tried to get him whacked. You is be hiding. We were head hunters, man. Come on, man. Open their mouth, came to what they was, man. And you caught the cut and left and left another fat man in the blind. Oh, uh, we, man, know what up with me, man. Quando even hopped in the situation and made fun of Jay for getting his jewelry taken. Hey, listen, cuz you got your took two times. You glad to go to prison and get your took. You get some money took from me. And not long after those videos surfaced, Jay responded, letting everyone know that Youngboy and Quando were capping on his name. Youngboy had another altercation at one of his shows in 2018, because during the show, a fan was trolling around and throwing stuff on the stage. So Youngboy stopped the whole show to let the crowd know that he'll fight every single person. Why, why that nigga just standing like that, bro? Trolling around and throwing stuff on the stage. So Youngboy stopped the whole show to let that nigga YB be tripping, bro. What the fuck? He be tripping in his Let the crowd know that he'll fight every single person attending the concert. I'll put this on my little boy. Throw some again, I'm a poor chipper ass one guy. And after that, the fans chilled out since they knew how crazy Youngboy could get. But not all fans are scared of him. Because in 2018, Youngboy was in LA and ran into a dude banging Blood Gang. And the dude tried to check young boy on the street, but young boy wasn't going that. for it because young boy and the other dude started yelling back and forth while young boy's manager held him back. You bang for the fame, I can't bang. You got all these around us. Man, we can't get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. 
do something, you got to hold man. If you fuck do something, you got to hold it, man. If you fuck do something, you got to hold it, man. Young boy kept telling the dude to pop off and do something. But the dude was too scared to do anything and was all capped since he knew how ugly it could get messing with young boy. But speaking on things getting ugly, it also got ugly when Lil Uzi saw Rich the Kid on the streets and made him run. So click this. Bro, you know what you good at? Boy, your ass good at finishing the sentence rolling into your next topic. Why the fuck you be keep doing that, bro? The nigga did that shit so many times throughout the video. It's crazy, nigga. But nah, man, I ain't gonna lie. That nigga why BJ be tripping, fool. I feel like that nigga cool people, man. Like he 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 seen like real cool nigga to all, but he just gotta understand. You know what I'm saying? He probably don't even care though. You know what I'm saying? Like, he probably don't care to have no friends. Nobody be cool with him. But he just gotta understand, like, fool niggas grown, bro. Like, you gotta understand, niggas got the same testosterone flowing through their body that you got flowing through your body. You gotta understand that when God made men. I mean, he made all all men have pride. All men have egos, and pride and ego it ain't really the best thing in the world. But what I'm trying to say is the same way you be feeling, like you why being ain't no nigga gonna play with you. Gotta understand, me and the other men having that same feeling in them, bro. Them nigga walk around, he be with the same feeling. You know what I'm saying? So just because. We know, you You know what I'm saying, YB act a little, he got his own stuff going on, he act a little different, he process a little different. That don't mean men ain't finna be men, bro. You know, a nigga still gonna be a man at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And the little niggas that be in the comments like, bro, you ain't nothing. They little fruit balls. You can't listen to these little niggas. They still ticklish. You know what I'm saying? I can't listen to little ticklish niggas. I'm talking about like the grown men. For you niggas that's in the comments, die hard YB fans. Nick came in your face, told you exit right now. What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? You gotta understand, fool. Like, niggas be men, bro. It's a grown ass man. You feel me? So that's why I said I rock why because I ain't never, I don't got, I don't got no problem with him. He cool as fuck. This shit just be entertaining to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just sit back in my own business. At the end of the day, I don't know homie personally. I don't know what he got going on in his personal life, and that nigga don't know me. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, he off doing his own thing. I react to the content, bring this shit for y'all. I just speak on my opinion like a real nigga. And my opinion don't ever be no hating shit. I don't get on here talking down on it. I don't, yeah, you can't, boy, find a video of me getting on this bitch talking crazy about a nigga in a bad way. I see you a thousand dollars right now. You're not gonna find it. Me saying I don't listen to a song because it don't sound like some shit I listen to, nigga, the fuck, nigga? Yeah, I got my own music out on this song. Fuck, who, what rapper it is? It could be my favorite rapper, nigga. If the song suck and it's a song I don't like, I don't listen to it, nigga. Give yeah, a damn who don't like it. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? I got music, I feel like trash as fuck and it don't get released. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, we finna now got some more videos like this. Make sure y'all comment what videos y'all wanna see next. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Go to KD2 Live and this Supreme KD2. I'm gonna put both channels in the comment section. And we gonna go crazy. Gotta bring more some more videos. So now we gotta stop the videos. Get them in.